Hey friends, I want to share with you an exciting study that literally just came out February 2022 in uh, this journal, Sport, Exercise, and Performance Psychology. And it's called Testing Interventions for Music Performance Under Pressure, a Randomized Controlled Study. And I'll drop the reference for you in the text below. And the study makes a number of uh, really interesting and, and useful conclusions, particularly how we have to be careful about taking uh, sports psychology interventions and applying to them to music without being able to tweak them and be sure that they fit the music context. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to read two sentences to you from their conclusions and actually add a perspective um, that they didn't mention that I think is actually really important. Participants who use the interventions reported higher self-efficacy, or another word for confidence, higher self-efficacy than the control participants. But this difference was only observed in participants high in trait music performance anxiety. The use of the interventions had no effect on music performance quality. Okay, so in short, what that means is people felt better, they felt more confident, um, but they didn't play better. So I kind of find that problematic, right? Because isn't the purpose of our interventions to actually perform better, whether it be in music or in sport. And what I love about this conclusion actually is it illustrates so very well that your actions are independent of what you think and feel. Sometimes we can all get caught up in saying that I gotta think positive and feel confident so that I can play better, whether that be a sport or musical instrument, but yet this study actually proved that people could actually feel better and be more confident and it not affect their performance. So the takeaway point is this, while I would love for you to feel good and be positive and be confident, please don't get consumed by having to control the way that you think or feel. Understand that if you wanna perform better, it's your actions that count the most. And interventions designed to have an impact on improving your performance are really the ones that you should prioritize. And that might mean bringing anxiety or fear along with you so that you have more time and energy to invest into your performance cues and actions rather than managing how you think and feel.